The portal for applying for DGCA pilot license examinations are now open and in this video I'm going to be breaking down how you can apply for these pilot licensing CPL and ADPL examinations in this video. So if you are ready, fasten those seatbelts because we're ready for takeoff. What's up fellow creators and welcome back to the Flytuber flying simplified through YouTube. My name is Elias Ghar and on this channel I talk about aviation facts, aircraft knowledge and some information like this video and if you are new here you might want to consider subscribing. So the Directorate General of Civil Aviation or DGCA conducts examinations, pilot licensing examinations every quarter that is once every three months and today that is 5th February at the time of recording of this video the portal is now open for applying for the first session of 2021 for pilot licensing examinations here in India. I have already made a separate video about these examinations be it CPL exam or ADP examinations by DGCA. In another video, I've talked about how many questions will come and uh, what is the passing marks in these examinations. You can check that video somewhere up here and also down in the description. But apart from that, in this video, we'll, we are just looking at how you can apply, how to access the portal, how to log in and apply for your examinations. Well, the prerequisite before you can even apply for examinations is that you need a computer number. Now, I had broken down already what a computer number is and how to apply and get your computer number in my previous video. Uh, obviously, I'll link it up here. Uh, so now considering that you already have applied and you already have your computer number, considering that let's jump into the system and let's see how you can apply for your pilot licensing examinations. All right, so we are in our system now and this is the portal uh, for applying for pilot licensing examination that is pariksha.dgca.gov.in. I'll be linking this uh, uh, website down in the description box. So you can click on the link and come on this page. Such a page will open up, click here to proceed. And like I said, this is the same portal which we use for applying for computer number. And uh, the left is for AME, the right side is for us flight crew. And you can see this, there is a notice board here down below, a, a rolling notice board. And uh, this is where you need to to check for updates when the next examination is coming up. DGCA will put it up here and also obviously on DGCA website. So you can see here public notice flight crew license examination 1 of 2021 session. This is the notice that had come out on 18th uh, of January if I'm not wrong. So uh, yeah on 18th January the DGCA uh, rolled out this public notice that flight crew examinations will be conducted uh, session 1 of 2021. Uh, so coming back to this page, once you have your computer number, you will be coming and clicking on candidate login and fill in your details, your computer number and then the password and obviously the uh, CAPTCHA uh, basic maths. I just have blurred out the details of, for obvious reasons, but once you log in, this is uh, what interface that you can see. Here on the left is the navigation pane. Uh, well, I'm not going to break down each and everything of this, but I'll straight away move to how you can apply. So in the examination down here, click on the examinations and click on pilot online examination application form. Once you click, such a page will open up your name, computer number, and you are applying for. All right, so in this applying for, uh, if you are new, your uh, details will be written as CPL here. But once you clear all your CPL exams, you get your CPL. And once you upgrade to ATPL, it will turn to ATPL here. And, uh, and then your date of birth, check your uh, signature and photograph matches. Scrolling down, uh, session one. Okay, so this drop down will only be selectable once the portal uh, is online for applying and accepting the uh, applications for pilot license examination so first session of 2021 pilot and category applying for all right so there's a lot of bunch of options but the main thing is if you are applying for cpl examination then cpl pilot examination and if you are applying for atpl then there will be another option uh, of atpl pilot as examination so you can select that so for now i'm selecting on cpl examination and then center you have to choose a center uh, which city do you want to give examination if you are from a uh, bigger city which has a center there's a whole list of uh, centers here uh, then you can select if you are not if you are from a small town then you can uh, select the nearest city so for now i'm selecting hyderabad and center choice two is basically if at all uh, the uh, if you are late if you if there uh, the number of seats in the particular center is already filled up then that is the second option which they will uh, you know give as a center for you so say for example we'll select bangalore for now and then click on click here to proceed for paper selection down below 
all right so the page will refresh again and then you have to scroll down and down below all of these papers will be uh, shown all right uh, so for example if you want to apply for technical general now again i would like to remind that uh, uh, how many papers are there what are the subjects i have made a video on dgca uh, examinations and also um, what we'll be studying in these uh, subjects i have made another video on that also uh, i'll link it up uh, above and also uh, down the description check that out so uh, here you will be uh, selecting the number of examinations papers that you want to uh, appear for so the important thing here is that there's no hard and fast tool that you can only apply for one or you have to apply for all of them it's totally up to you if you are confident enough for two examinations for example then you can uh, select the two papers that you want to appear for so for our exam uh, example purpose let's say that we are applying for technical general select that and then click on submit now one thing before we click on submit uh, there is something known as oral subject this is not relevant for cpl students but once you update for atpl there will be an option for oral uh, subject here because obviously like i told in the previous video for atpls you also have uh, oral examinations so accordingly you will be selecting oral subject first session um, your center for the oral will be uh, nearest to your center based on uh, what you have selected here obviously there are three centers i have talked about all that in that other video click on submit once you have selected all the examinations that you have to appear for and click ok on this dialog box then a whole new page will open up where all your details will be there please uh, always uh, cross check once that all the details are as per your licenses this is very important uh, check all your details then scroll down and then uh, your the details for the examination will be there so what is your cho center choice one center choice two and oral examination see i selected hyderabad and bangalore and the near nearest oral examination center is chennai but don't worry uh, for cpl even though it shows chennai don't worry you don't have to give any oral examination and then your examination fee obviously 2500 per paper you have to click uh, accept the terms and conditions and then proceed to payment where well, obviously from here on i think it's pretty self-explanatory and uh, i don't need to uh, explain much you just need to go and uh, select your particular banks and then give details maybe credit card debit card or net banking all that you guys know i'm not uh, gonna show all that so that is how uh, you apply for pilot assessing examination once your payment is successful you'll be successfully registered for the pilot assessing examination of that session and then you'll be receiving a mail from dgca acknowledging the same about 10 10 days prior to the actual examination date is when DGCA will be coming out with another public notice uh, announcing the actual dates of examination. You can check that public notice obviously right here on the home screen here on the notice board pilot is where uh, the public notice will be coming out. Uh, make sure to keep checking this page so that you know uh, as soon as possible as when your examination is going to be conducted. And then about one week or about four to five days prior to the actual examination date is when you'll be receiving another mail from DGCA stating that your admit card has now been generated and you have to take a printout of your admit card how to do that let's get back to the system here and on the left navigation pane you can see examinations click on that and under that click on admit card this screen will open up and under sessions obviously right now nothing is selectable here because the admit cards haven't been generated once it has been done uh, the, an option here will be coming up for first session of pilot examination session 2021 uh, something like that click on that click on submit and then uh, click on generate your admit card a printable and downloadable uh, pdf of your admit card will be generated take a printout of that the instructions to candidates for the examination will be uh, written uh, available on the admit card itself make sure to go through that thoroughly and follow it to the dot for example it will mention that you have to reach the examination center at least 30 minutes prior to the start of examination and trust me i have seen pilots you know they had reported five to ten minutes before and they weren't allowed to sit the examination so that is one thing and obviously you have to carry the admit card you have to carry a government id proof of yourself uh, to show it to the uh, officials over there make sure to reach uh, read those uh, instructions to candidates and follow it to the dot and this is pretty much the summary of how you apply for your examinations pilot licensing examinations and then how to get your admit card one funny thing that I got reminded of is that obviously I'm not going to name the person but then uh, back in my training days there was this person who used to boast that uh, you know I had already cleared so and so paper and then uh, I applied for that same paper once again just for the sake of it just I wanted to give the examination <laughs> and actually that was a lie uh, because once you clear an examination once you clear a paper uh, you can not apply for that paper until unless that paper gets expired. So for example, I have cleared all my CPL and ATPL examinations. So I can not apply for the paper uh, until unless the papers get lapsed, right? So for the sake of this video, I had borrowed uh, one of my friend's uh, IDs and 
uh, thanks very thanks to them that they lended me the details uh, but then yeah that is what is the thing you can't apply for examination uh, until unless it expires uh, after you have cleared it well that is how you apply for DTCA CPL and ATPL examinations and the procedure for applying for ATPL exams is pretty similar just you have to update your profile that now you would uh, wish to appear for ATPL examinations in Pariksha portal and after that the steps are pretty similar to what I showed you here at this moment I like to wish all the best to all the candidates who are appearing in this session especially those of you who are appearing for the first time ever in pilot license examinations all the best to you guys and obviously for those of you who might have missed the bus and uh, there are many reasons maybe you couldn't get your computer number in time or you're just applying for your computer number uh, all the best to you guys as well don't worry take it as positive take it uh, think of it that you have more time for the next session obviously you can't do anything about this session right so in the next session uh, you have more time so make sure that you clear examinations in the next session all the best for that as well but yes that is how you apply for computer number i hope that this video was helpful and informative if you found the video to be helpful and you like the content uh, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel share this video with as many friends as you can i'll come up with a very interesting video very soon until then take care and happy landings.